Good day, my name is Ed Slava, and I am number uh, 1002 with Valhalla Place over in Woodbury, Minnesota. And I brought my bottles in, and they had been leaking, and it, you can see it's leaking all over. And just uh, for a little story before I do anything here, they took them in there, and they called their um, supervisor over in Brooklyn Park or Brooklyn Center named Laz, I think his name is. And I'll be contacting him today. And these bottles leaking, I have went down from 290 milligrams in a year and a half down to 62 at this point. And I'm trying to get off totally, obviously. And their recommendation when you're doing this is to go down 10%, which is 6.2 milligrams. Okay, I cannot go by... Um, milligrams at this point because I don't have that type of um, let's say uh, scale to take it out and put it back in however I do got a way a, a scale that will show us um, what the weight is on a normal bottle of 62 milligrams compared to what I have left in a bottle uh, one of the, the nurses, Michelle, is the supervisor who was trying to help me out here, took it into another nurse who, nurse who contacted Laz. Uh, it was a closed-door session. Obviously, I was not let in there. Um, I don't know why. Privacy was not really there because I am the client, and I should have to. I should be able to see what's going on. So that was kind of a violation right there. Um, the second violation is, of course, by doctor's choice, they choose to go out two weeks at a time when federal government states 30 days at a time. And uh, I have been on methadone for oh, over seven years. I have yet to have a dirty UA. I've never had any issues at all. Um, and again, like I said, I was trying to get off. Of, I'm trying to get off, so I'm weaning down, and their recommendation is 10%. So by the end of this, I'm hoping to show that their negligence is making my pain and suffering uh, pretty great compared to where it should be. When you're coming down off of methadone, your pain and suffering is going to be some, um, but again, 10% versus 50% is a huge difference. Um, so I'm choosing to record this right now at this time. And after I'm done, I'll get it together and I'll send it to her, uh, Michelle. You know, it's 6.30 in the morning. I left her at 6.10. It takes me 20 minutes to get home. As you can see, I'm gonna, you're not going to see my face anymore, but you're going to see the box for now on. As you can see, there's the box right there. I have not opened it since I came back. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this box up right now. And we're going to go through these bottles, okay? And this morning when I left and I found these, I had, they were tipped over. And that's where I found the leakage, actually. And when I come home, because these are federally mandated items, when I come home, I put this under my kitchen sink. Because if anybody breaks into my house, they're not going to look under my kitchen sink for uh, methadone. And any drug addicts going to be searching other places, not here. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to actually just do a visual measurement. And I will try to get as close as I can. I'm going to take some captive pictures and I'm going to take some um, uh, video here. And I'm going to put, I've got... When I, I went and got my doses last Wednesday, so I've got these left at this point. And I don't know which is low and high, because obviously I'm just pulling them out right now. So you're going to see, like I see, okay? And I'm also going to show you the inside of this um, carryout case that I have. Um, everybody's mandated to have a carryout case. And I have one, obviously. So, and just by looking at these, I can see already that I'm missing half of one in one bottle for sure, and more in another one, and we're going to pull them out as we go. Um, this here is the empty bottle, 
that I dosed this morning before I caught this. Um, I'm going to open this right up in front of the thing to make sure that it's to show you that this one here this morning did not seal. The inside right there you can see the inside the seal is still inside there. So when they close it up this item did not seal anyway. So that's where that one stands. And the reason I got this empty one is we're going to show weight here okay. This is my scale right here. Okay, I use this to weigh gold and silver, so it's going to be very accurate. All right, I'm putting it, turning it on right now. And I think what we're going to put it at, because obviously these are not going to weigh ounces, um, I'm going to change the mode to, um, let's see here, grams. That's going to be the best way to weigh this. So the first thing we're going to weigh out is we're going to weigh out this bottle, this bottle alone, just the bottle, okay? And so, that being said, let me grab a piece of paper here. Uh, see, here we go. Alright. I'm going to record this here and I'm going to put it in a typed letter. So, right now we're at, um, I don't know if you can see that or not, we're at 12 point three four grams it's fluctuating in between there uh, that's with an empty bottle with the lid on top of it and a name tag on it and everything just like every other bottle that we're going to see here um, let me see if I can get a better view so that you can see that the actual weight is the 12.4 I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not I'm going to go pan down on that a little bit hopefully we got that in the video we'll have to see after we're done with it okay so that being said, now we're going to weigh what I think is a full bottle. Um, but we'll know by the end. Uh, so I'm going to turn this back on again. Make sure it's at grams again. And it is. And this is what I believe is a full bottle. So weighing that gram, we got 18.5 on a full bottle. Okay. So I'm going to write that down. 18.5 grams on a full bottle. I'm on 60 point, 60 and a half. There are six. Uh, let's see. Yeah. My dosage here is. Let's see here. 63 milligrams. Okay. So we're going to call that 63 milligrams. And it's going to be pretty easy to figure all this out. Right, and so that's bottle number one. I'm going to label that bottle number one. And bottle number two, 16.5 grams. All right, so that we know is even lower, even though it looks looks good. It's still going to amount to some uh, some differences there. All right, bottle number three, 17.5 grams. Okay, bottle number four, 18.7 grams. And I understand fluctuations going to be when they take them out, an extra drop to get in there or something, but it's a significant difference on one of them there. This is the big significant, this is the big difference that I told you I could see. This is 15.5 grams. I'm going to do I'm going to. See if you can go down and actually see that one. It's so hard to do on here, but you see I'm recording them. I'm not cheating anybody out of anything, so you can see it. 15.5 grams on that. I'm going to number that bottle number five. And I'm actually going to go back and go to bottle number four. Bottle number three. Bottle number two. Now, you seen me put them down. You didn't see me switch them around or anything. Okay, so this is number five, and then we're going to go bottle number six and weigh that. 18.7 grams. Which looks like that's going to be the full number there. So I'm going to number that six. Here's going to be labeled number seven, 18.6 grams. Okay. And our last bottle. 18.8 grams now if I was lying about the weight and stuff if you can't see them you might be able to you might not I don't know but I, I wouldn't 
I'd fluctuate a hell of a lot more than that, put it that way. So that's kind of like where we're at there. Now, what we're going to do is in front of you, um, since you've seen, you, you see all these bottles, is I'm going to try to take these off and see how loose these caps are, okay? And we will go by in, in numbered order. Um, this would be our bottle number one. Let's see if that these are, let's see if these are stuck on tight or they're loose. Do you see that? And this is 18.5 grams. So this very easily could be part of the loss. That's bottle number one. Bottle number two. Big time. See that? Huge. That's 16.5 grams. We know we lost in that one anyway. Bottle number three is 17.5. That one didn't even stick. Look at that. Okay, you see that? That one didn't even stick. These have not been touched. The nurses, I had these at the nursing station and I brought them home just now. So they supposedly tightened these, okay? Bottle number four, right here. Look at that, nothing. Look at all the residue and everything from around there. You know, and this one's 17.5, obviously a loss here too. Alright, this is bottle number five. This is the one with the big loss here. Look at this. All over. You can see. I'm going to hold it up to here. You can see. Look at it. I mean, it's got dry rotted stuff on there. I wish it came out better. But, I mean, you can see the dry rots on there all over. Uh, the methadone. I mean, it's hard. The methadone is actually hard right there. It's like a, like a sugar bead almost, you know. And so... Yeah, I hope you can see the, the red in there. Um, look at this. Look at this. Look at this freaking label or this lid. Look, at, you see all that red in there? That's methadone that I'm not going to get. That methadone I'm not going to get. And you see the red that's all over everything else on the bottom? I'm going to try to get it so that you can see it. I don't know if you can see. Hopefully we can see it. But this is the one that we lost most of the uh, fluids out of. Okay. So that was number five. Alright, this is going to be our, let's see here, number six is right here, okay, let's see if that one's any good, junk, look at that, it actually came off like that, ripped off out of there, like that, and there's the bottle number six, and that didn't think, didn't, you know, in, in, if, if I well, you know, you could, uh, have tore that off and that could have got stuck there ladies and gentlemen this is a full bottle this one didn't even leak so i didn't do that just so to make it clear and it did not leak even though it was, it was tore off like that and this is number seven this one actually looks like it's stuck Okay, so we got one bottle stuck. And that was 18.6 grams, which makes sense. I got I got little drips of methadone sitting right here. Right here. Oh, yeah, there we go. You see that? Wide open. Now, you would have a crease there if I opened it up. It, you know, I'm sorry. Look at that. You would have a crease right there if it was opened up and flipped open and anything taken out of it. But nothing's taken out of it because you know why? This is also a full bottle. Okay. Now, all that being said, I'm going to move these bottles over to here. We'll keep them in the order so that we don't mix anything up. And if they do, it's okay because we got them numbered now. I'm going to take this and we're going to move it over to here because there's nothing else I can do different. The only thing I can do different is break it down further. And I don't have anything to break it down into milligrams. But we can do that mathematically. Okay. So that being said, I also want to take our, or my, I should say, box that I go and pick my stuff up. And this is what I opened up to today. And you can see all the stains that are on the bottom of there. And you can see the stains that are on Valhalla Place's little label there that I had gotten from the doctor a while back. And so you can see all the leakage on there. 
Now, that's all stick, you know, all went into the paper. And you can even see the little round bottom where it had probably leaked down and went on down to the bottom of the bottle there. Okay, so I just want everybody to take notice of everything on there. All the red on there is methadone. And that is a lot of methadone for somebody. Okay. So, now that all this has been said, you're going to watch me. And I'm going to put this back into this container. And we're going to leave it in there. Because this is what I do. Is I leave them in here and I hide them under the sink. And I take them every morning. I get up. I take one dose out. I take my dose. Do my deal for the day. Go to bed and do it again the next morning. Uh, let's see where's that box. And I'm going to start now putting a box in here so that, or at least for, for now, so that these do not tip down and cause me more problems. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't get this empty out of here. Yeah, that's the empty one. I don't need that one no more because I used that this morning already. And I don't even know if I took a full dose or not. I don't think so, but we'll see about 3 o'clock this afternoon. So I put the box in there now so that these cannot tip over anymore. And that's how I took them to Valhalla, and that's how I got them back from Valhalla. Also, you can see on here, because I put this box in after I found out they were leaking, you can look at the stains and see them. The stains from, um, let me do it this way, from the methadone that had spilt. You can see the stains right up here. These are all, let me actually highlight these. These are all stains right here from the methadone that was on the bottom. So when I brought them to the Valhalla place, that's what they looked like. Okay. Get that away from the side so we can do our multiplication and then figure that out right now. Um, I got all that down. I don't know the formula off the top of my head, but I'm going to take a calculator here. I don't know if I got one handy. I thought I did. Let me... I do know what one is. Let me go grab it. So I don't have to close it right yet, but I can show you this is my TI-30 calculator here, okay? Um, calculator's not going to lie, alright? So, where's my handy pen here? So, to do the mathematical equations here, we're going to take the whole bottle and we're going to divide it by the amount of milligrams that I have, okay? But first, we're going to take... The 12 milligrams off of there, that um, the 12.3 milligrams that the bottle weighs from each item, okay? And then we'll break it down like that. Alright, so if we take the 12.3 minus the 18.5, we don't need the calculator yet, or some of us don't need the calculator yet. We know that it's 6.2 for 18.5, and I can tell you just by that first number right now, that every 10 milligrams it looks like, is going to be close to point to 1.0. I mean, it just looks, works out that way. If you subtract that from just the bottle weight, 6.2, I take 63. Okay? So 16.5 minus 12.3 is what? 4.2. I'm missing 20 milligrams out of that bottle. 17.5 minus 12.3 is what? 5.2. I'm missing 10 milligrams out of that site or out of that bottle. Bottle number four, 18.7, which should be a full bottle. Minus three is six point <clears throat> or minus 12.3 is 6.4, which is right on that average. Like I said, we're not going to have an exact science here, but even common sense tells you where I'm going with this. So you take that 12.3 minus 15.5, that means that there is 3.2 grams of methadone left. 
people. That's 30.1 milligrams of methadone. That's 50 percent. Their recommendation is 10 when you're going down, but they want me to take it and be okay with it by them not filling these bottles back up. Again, next bottle, 18.7. We've had that before. We know it's 6.4. 18.6, we know it's 6.3, which is exactly 10 milligrams per decimal. So if you got... We got six, it should be 6.3 grams of methadone in this bottle. You take that, all right, and move the decimal over one place. You know you got 10 milligrams per dose. 18.6, that's the one I'm telling you, just right on the, right on the nut. And now 18.8. So if that one is the highest weight one, which could have got an extra drop or something in there. Uh, if you know how they do things in the, at there, they they do it by a machine. If you watch them do that by their machine, it comes out and it spews the um, amount of milligrams that you're on. And there's always a drop that's just sitting there, and that drop could have dropped, which is going to be the point one. I promise you that or the nurse will hit it to make it drop so this is where you fluctuate one or two not much one or two yeah so i would say that 18.5 and above are full bottles so i got one two three four five five full bottles out of one two three four five six seven eight full bottles that means i'm short on three bottles Okay, so totaling all this up, my total is going to be, I'm with, I'm, I'm, what I'm fig trying to figure out here is how short I am going to be and what I'm going to need to do about it or if I'm going to need to just not dose it and keep this for evidence. Um, one thing I, I don't know if I told you at the beginning or not, I'm a criminal justice student and I'll be getting my degree in, in June. and one thing I have learned is evidence and uh, I'm a honor student I've got a 3.65 GPA uh, I'm graduating with honors I'm also graduating with a certificate of investigations and I'm also graduating with private private security also I have my own private investigation services it has not started yet because I did not graduated from school it will be starting in May I got my website built it's called lavainvestigators.com I've had it built for a while and my main goal is not stuff like this but this is gonna work for me I'm glad I'm in it but my main purpose if you go visit that website is to look for missing children I cannot stand people that mess with children so that's my main goal my main goal is not to investigate stuff like this this kind of stuff I care about but it's not for me um, I do right now work as a private investigator I got my carry and conceal in 50 states, 48 states. Uh, Illinois and California are the only two states I can't carry and conceal. Um, and I legally work as a private investigator with a badge, with a gun, under somebody else that I'm not going to bring into this issue yet. If need be, I will have them with me in court to say yes. And all they're going to say is yes, he works for us doing stuff at times and the reason I do that is not because I want to because I don't get paid for it but I gotta have a certain amount of hours to become a legal private investigator in the state of Minnesota anyway okay so we had all this up if we figure it out at 10 okay we should have had at eight doses we can take 63 6.3 is going to be our average because that's a 10 okay times eight doses we should have 50.4 grams okay just like gold it's, you don't figure this it doesn't take a brain surgeon all right so now we're going to add up what i have on here all right so you got 6.2 plus 4.2 plus 5.2 plus 6.4 plus 3.2 
it pisses me off by the way but 6.4 it makes me wonder how many other people you've done this to but 6.3 plus 6.4 44.3 you shorted me a bottle for this because the, the, I leaked a bottle out of here a full bottle you got paid a full bottle and you didn't dose a full bottle you know I'm a pretty mellow guy I'm 50 years old and I probably don't have a whole lot longer to live 20 years at the most probably but this kind of stuff is the stuff that really gets under my skin I get I understand the federal government protecting some people and I understand that people do bad things with stuff like this I've been dosing for seven years I've been dosing for three years there two years there never ever not one dirty UA not one okay I don't do drugs matter of the fact is I haven't drank in 29 years I got hooked back on uh, Percocet after I had surgeries on my back and on my knee after a couple of car accidents and I'm a 280 pound guy and after a while one or two Percocets don't do it anymore and I give credit where it's due because the methadone did take away the pain however it's very addicting itself and don't let it fool you it's worse um, the only good thing is is that since I've been tapering I do Jones every time I drop down a little bit however it still makes it so I am livable okay all right that being said now um, I think you know where I stand on this stuff now I don't need to I guess turn this off and go into the website because I think this is going to be proof enough and I think I've given you all the information that you need at this point um, I proved my case um, you can test me for any drugs you want you're not going to find anything you can do whatever you need to do but there's three things that are going to happen here the first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to get this video and I'm going to upload it to YouTube so everybody is aware of it okay and I'm going to make it go viral the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to file a complaint with the federal government filing a complaint with the federal government may not do nothing for me and I don't care it's okay but they need to know what's going on and where it's going on um, you can't tell people we recommend to go down 10% and when something like this happens you tell them basically tough shit it's not gonna work in my book um, it shouldn't work in anybody's book you're breaking the laws you're breaking the law you're protecting yourself but you're breaking the laws to people good people that need it to survive you know um, when we go there you care you seem like you care a lot all of a sudden after years you go there you don't care anymore this is an e would have been an easy fix we wouldn't even have to go on this route third thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this together and I'm going to send it to Michelle I'm going to call Lars and I'm going to video record that I'm going to get his information from him if he chooses not to release any information such as um his email address to me or anything like that then I'm gonna go one step further even and what I'm gonna do and I you know I get a little grin on my face what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna subpoena your records after I subpoena your records for just me and when we find a discrepancy here if I turn this over to another attorney he's gonna subpoena all your records for every client you had and ever have had um, you know I know I sound like a dick uh, because you're helping people but you're not helping me 
you're, you're hurting me at this point. And I drive out there and you choose not to fill only two bottles. I only told you that there, there was two bottles that I th thought because the 16.5, I mean, 10 milligrams is a lot, technically speaking, or 10 grams is a lot, technically speaking, but, you know, it's, you can't, you can barely see it. You know, the the one that dropped down to the um, 15.5 is ridiculous. <laughs> it's 50%. You know, 50%, 3.2, you know, 3 point, 3 .2, the other one is 5.2 and a 4.2. So, I mean, yeah, whatever. Okay, you got you got the bottom line. You sort of me a bottle total altogether. And, you know, sometimes I also get this stuff, just so you're aware of it, that I'm not the idiot off the street. The color varies big time. The taste varies big time. So, either you have two suppliers or it's getting watered down. And I don't know what it is, but I can tell the taste. And the reason I say that is I don't like the taste. So I can tell if it tastes like it's have water in it or it doesn't have water in it. Um, I usually dose mine without water. Period. When I first take the first, I, when I dose, I dose it all of it liquid down at one time then I put water in it so I know what the dose should taste like versus what it shouldn't or it doesn't taste like okay I guess at this point I'm going to end this and I am going to now get online and get Valhalla's homepage Valhalla's phone numbers Valhalla's information Valhalla's contacts and everything I need to do to get this sent off to them today this is something that I'm not going to delay um, and I'm also going to file a complaint right there at Valhalla too. That's the other thing I needed to do. So, I think that's about it for now. I think I've done everything correctly. If I didn't, I guess the judge will tell me. And that is going to be it for now. Thank you.